Hey Threadheads, Darren here. Welcome back to another quick fly tying tutorial. Today we're just going to be uh, whipping up this little black pheasant tail. This is uh, a variation of a pheasant tail jig that I do. It's pretty uh, stripped down version of a pheasant tail nymph. We don't have any uh, wing case on this, no uh, legs or anything like that. So um, I think this is something that's going to be great for fishing in, uh, throughout the trout season. And uh, even for some panfish, it should be a pretty good pattern. All right, let's hop into this one. I'm going to start. We're going to get a fresh hook into the vise. Now I've got a fire hole 516 in a size 10 here. And on there I've got a tungsten slotted bead. And this one's in a black nickel. I got these from um, Hardy Deluxe on eBay. It's got a pretty good quality tungsten bead at a fair price there. And there's the fire hole beads. Um, speaking of the fire hole beads, they should be getting in some of the uh, tungsten slotted beads soon. So I'll be checking those out when they arrive. They've got a pre-order on. I think uh, it might have ended recently, but uh, once they have them in stock, I'll be getting some in and I'll be doing a review of those as well. So for thread, we're going to be using a 70D Ultra Thread in black or an dot thread, something that's fairly slender. And we're just going to start in behind the bead and we just want to get that secured. I'm going to add a few wraps in behind, right up against the slot. You just want to make sure that you have that bead kind of pushed out as far as you can. Trim off the tag end there. And we'll start winding down towards the uh, hook point. We're starting to create a bit of a taper in the body here. And uh, we want to just kind of get this bead so that it's secure. I'm just going to push it up and we're going to add some thread wraps until it stops moving around. That's not so bad. We can work with that. And now we'll take our thread down. You just want to be careful that you don't go over that bend. Uh, if you do that, you're going to have a tail that's going to wrap down around the uh, bend of the hook and uh, looks a little funky. So I'm going to add a little bit of black material here on this black pheasant tail. So this is a uh, black dyed pheasant tail that I've got. Might be a little bit tricky to kind of pick up the barring on there but there's a little bit of iridescence left in the feather and a little bit of the natural black barring. So we're going to take about, uh, say, five or six fibers off this. And um, we're just going to create a tail here. So usually I'll kind of like do the uh, length of the shank here. It's kind of a good measurement for me. I don't like my tails too short. And we'll just put those on top of the hook shank. And I'm gonna wrap that down all the way, just in behind the bead. Next, we're gonna take a little bit of small black ultra wire. We're just gonna take a short length, about three or four inches here. And uh, we'll tie that in. I like to tie mine in just along the hook shank on the side here. And we'll just use touching wraps just down into where we tied in the tail. Okay. And you should be able to get three or four flies with that three or four inch length of wire here. So there's a couple different ways you could do this. Um, if you don't have a lot of length on your pheasant tail, you can trim that off and tie in 
a second clump of fibers, but if you have lots of length, what you can do is you can lay that back and uh, just pinch it in, tie it in right where the uh, tail left off, and then tie the fibers down. So I've got quite a bit of length on, on this. The uh, fibers on this are about uh, two and a half inches, maybe three inches, so fairly long uh, fibers for this. And uh, once we get that, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to wrap those. We just want to pull those up, just up in behind the bead. And if you have trouble with the with uh, filling that in, you can add a couple more fibers. That'll help it uh, fill in a little bit faster. Or you can, like I said before, you can add a second clump of uh, tail fibers in there. So we just caught that in behind the bead. And we'll make sure we go behind the fibers and in front of them. Make sure they're secured. Then we'll trim off the excess there. Now we've got our wire. We're going to wrap that in the opposite direction that we wrapped. So we're going to wrap it in behind, whereas the, the pheasant, we wrapped it in front. And this will just trap the fibers in between the wraps of wire, and that'll add a lot of extra security to the fly here. So we wrap that just up in behind the bead. I'm going to make sure that we get wraps on the back of that wire and also in front of it just to make sure it's locked in place. And then we'll pull down on that wire, or pull up on the wire, rather. We'll give it some tension and give it a few wiggles. And we got a nice clean cutoff here. So to finish this fly off, we're just gonna add a thorax and a couple different things I do on this. Sometimes I'll add uh, couple strands of peacock just to keep it nice and dark uh, but in this case we're going to actually use a little bit of ice dub or diamond dub so I've got a nice uh, black peacock color it's got a just a tinge of pearl in there without being too dark uh, you could also go into like a dark dark peacock black peacock or even just like a straight black if you wanted to um, we're going to go with this one here, and you don't need much, just got a little bit here, I'm going to take out a bit of that. We're just going to roll that onto the thread, push it down, roll a little bit more on. And we're always twisting in the same direction just to make sure that it's on there nice and good. Add a few wraps. Then we're going to whip finish. And we'll add a second one just for a little added durability. There you go. A black peacock or a black pheasant tail nymph tied on a jig with a tungsten bead. It's going to be a great one for the spring. All right, guys, keep a hook in your vise.